Hello everyone. I am low energy today. <laughs> so, um, but I did want to, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'm drinking water, but I just got my second booster yesterday. Pardon me. Um, so yeah, it was yesterday afternoon. So at this time, it's barely 24 hours. So I'm I'm dragging, but I just wanted to get this done. We're not going to do anything too complicated here. I'm planning from August 8th through the 14th. This is going to be a short video, but I did want to pop in because I just like checking in every week, I guess. Um, so let's go to last week real quick. So I had my procedure. It was intense. <laughs> I'm like wanting to sleep for the next few days. And then I found out looking at the calendar that it would be really, really good if I got my second booster, my fourth shot now, and then go on a round of meds. So um, before, <clears throat> I'm gonna have a gravelly voice today, um, before my son goes back into the classroom and brings home all the germs. So, um, kept it light. I planned for time off and I am so thankful I did. If you want to see that video, it's up already about blocking off like two weeks. Like we needed <laughs> this week, um, the tail end of the week pre previous, cause I was like coming down to it. And I'm like, I don't know if I can record these podcasts. And I realized I didn't have to. And I was so thankful. Um, and so um, yeah, so this is actually today right now. I've just been kind of resting. Um, I was going to film yesterday. I thought maybe I would feel a little better. I think I would have if I didn't get my booster. And then I had a blood draw that morning. 10 tubes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, I think that's my new record. I, I did a lot of blood draws while being pregnant and through other things, but that was my biggest one. So, um, I just didn't have the energy to do this. So we move this to here. Hopefully we're getting it all done here. This is my only video I'm doing this week and moving on. So I'm not going to do anything too fancy here, I'm keeping it pretty plain because, um, I'm going to focus on fortunately sticking by my, um, here, I'm going to turn this. Oh, before I do doing my self-love candle from Mint and Cocoa. It smells kind of fresh and almondy. It's, again, go to her website because <laughs> her descriptions are so much better than mine. Um, and they are linked bef below, but I needed to have some self-love going on. So, almost forgot that. Um, keeping it light... And yes, so glad, so, so, so glad. Let's see if I can um, keep this down. <laughs> Again, I'm just showing up today because I really love doing these videos and um, yeah, let me get this down and then I'll be able to talk about things a little bit more. So, this is not going to be exact at all, and it's not going to be pretty, but I'm here and we're doing that. So that spices that up a little bit. <laughs> um, I did draw my cards. Now, last week's cards were amazing. Um, they were, let's see, they were about productivity a stepping stone. So I very much feel like I got through a stepping stone and transitioning to the next steps of taking care of myself. Um, mental rest, 100%. That was the four of air, seven of feathers. Preparing and resourcefulness, 100% to that. And ace of candles, shine being me. And I have a, a personal thought on that, but I won't be sharing it. 100%. Like, they were just so supportive. So Let's go through the cards I just pulled. Um, the first one is Potential. 
So using energy stored from a negative experience to, fu to fuel motivation, determination, and creativity, um, sit in the potential or release it. Continue to transform. And I kind of think of this also as like composting is like all your experiences are informing and also feeding and nurturing your future experiences. So either you can let them go or you can use them in a positive way to move forward. So that's potential. Make sure I don't light my card on fire. Um, the next one is eight of water, uh, journey of discovery, letting go and seeking deeper meaning, greater authenticity beyond superficiality. I think I said that right. Um, and re-examining where I am. So that's very much what I want to focus on this week. After I get some rest, I'm doing some inner kind of thought processes, processes. Um, Ace of Crystals, Manifestation, Panda. I just thought this was the cutest panda right now. It's so cute. And I love all that detail. So Manifestation and Prosperity. Um, good Fortune, Centered and Calm, Staying Grounded While Pursuing Goals. Like, that's number one. Like, I can get really carried away with goals, but I thought, like, Grounded with goals? Yes. Um, align yourself with the energies that will bring you fulfillment and allow you the create creative energy to manifest prosperity. So, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And four of candles is celebrate the power of stability in your creative pas creativity and passions. And yes. Um, and then on, I need to check the timing of this. I have two different times that this full moon is happening and I'm doing a zoom right before that. Hopefully I'm like almost confirmed with that. <laughs> We've been going back and forth a little bit. Um, and it's for an upcoming podcast. So, um, I think this is correct, but then I was just looking at a different calendar and it said it was like at 1130 in the morning. So, um, the full moon is in Aquarius on that date. Show the world the real you. Yes. I mean, like, I love all of these cards, but, um, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So those are my cards. Throwing my notebook to the side. <laughs> Um, I'm hoping everyone is doing okay. And as I write these down, eight of water. And I wanted to talk about like what to, what I'm doing. Sorry, need to write before I, oh, that's interesting. No. Huh. Um, I'm going to write down these energies real quick. So in terms of, yeah, that is interesting. Excuse me. Um, and then the full moon. Full moon is a time of releasing in Aquarius. So this is air. This is fire, this is earth, and this is water. That's what I found really interesting. It was one of each. So, interesting. <laughs> um, why not have some, like, equal energies going on? Let's see. So, okay. So let me kind of talk through... I was really amazed at how much, um, I'm just thinking, going to be clean in the bathroom there. I was amazed how much I got done 
before all of this. I have multiple videos lined up, like this is the only video I'm doing because it's timely. Um, didn't turn off my thing there. And I think I have like the next two weeks, like tiny tidies and some talking videos coming out. And I was just like, wow, this, and then also putting a notice out that, hey, you know, I'm not going to be doing, um, using these summer ones. I'm not going to be doing podcasts in the next two weeks. It was really freeing to do that. And I, I might've mentioned that last time that I had set that all up, but, um, it was really nice to actually experience it right now. So I'm just putting a couple highlights just to make myself happy, um, over this next week. Okay. This, this is pretty happy. I didn't realize these were both one sticker. So this bicycle has balloons on it. Let's see. I don't want it popping a wheelie. <laughs> Um, these aren't quite as repositional, repositionable as the other ones. Let's see. Do that. Um, they're, they're riding alongside the cacti. What else? Um, oh, my son may go to the beach here. So I'm just going to put this up here, though, because that date might change. So this is kind of like, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Um. Uh, moving on steadily on. So it also kind of taught me about, well, maybe I do need to batch a little bit more. And, um, my water intake was, has been improving and I'm looking to see like what kind of vessel is, helps me drink the most. And right now it's glass. Um, I've had multiple metal ones and for some reason it turned on me <laughs> and like even when I washed out the metal and it didn't have any other like coffee taste or anything in there it's always had water um when I would pour the fresh water in there it still had this metallic taste I don't know if it has to do with medical stuff I'm going through but it was it just totally turned me off so um, I'm back to glass right now. I'm using a plastic straw, but, um, even just like regular drinking glasses have been better. And I had a talk with a friend about that and what she uses too. So I've been monitoring my blood pressure, but I'm only going to probably do it, um, probably like a Monday and a Thursday next week. Um, cause I monitored it like the last two weeks. Um, and it's doing okay. So what did I have next here? I sometimes I mix these up. So I do have, um, bills I'm taking care of. I paid some of them on our payday, but there's some stragglers and I just don't have, <laughs> like, you don't want to be juggling money and numbers when you can't think clearly. And that's okay. Like I got anything that was big was, unfortunately we were way early in the month, um, to, like most of our bills aren't even due this week. They're due here. So I was just trying to stay on top of them. Um, but yeah, I will not be doing that today. This is making me happy. And community work, I have not been dipping into there. But I would just want to say thank you if you're following me on Instagram. I'm just I dot am dot katie sanders <laughs> i had to think about that because i just recently um redid my handle on there and on monday i need to change the handle of a different account so i saved that old one and yes i will be watching in case like i have that timed to the minute so i'm pretty confident um and you can see what time it is well you know if you know, you know, please don't steal my handle. Um, what else? Community, uh, what did I call it? Did I call it group work? Yeah, business group work. And that's where all these cards, um, 
I feel is supporting that where I can finally get the mental load that I had for all my health stuff is now going to be refocused back on business work. And I don't have, like, I'm not publishing this week because everything's done for this week. Besides this first thing, I even did my newsletter in advance. It's just waiting for a link. Um, This is video. This is just um, like taking photos and video every day just to kind of keep it fun and interesting. So um, pills, I've gotten all my pills as of late. We do have, I think I'm going to use the yellow again because there's yellow here and here. Um, Our little Ridwell truck is coming to pick up pill bottles. because those can be hard to recycle. And we don't have to do like oh, which side was I doing? <laughs> I, I always yell at myself when I don't have this on the right side. So I have this here and I would do the check mark on this side. There. Um, honestly, my brain is not doing that great right now and should I be doing this right now nah but you know I'm almost done um planning I would like to put this back on Friday and cards and everything I did it again didn't I it's a habit so catch it quick um let's see Don't need those. Yeah, we're moving right along. I already filled up my gas tank. I don't have any car stuff going on this week. Thank goodness. Um, We have one, you know, appointment. And then my son um, scheduled a time. Like, I, I might be loading that day too much. He scheduled a time with my mom so they can go to the local beach together and I wanted him to kind of experience like tracking that and coordinating that and so they hopped on FaceTime and they talked about when the weather would be nice. This I'm not going to put my little work thing down here because it's just about posting. I am going to record here though. So this is when I'll start recording again, although I do have one that I just need to edit. Um, So I only have to do two podcasts and then, yeah. And then, (coughs) excuse me. Uh, Yeah, like my last booster shot was, I thought it was December, but it was actually um, November. Um, I had, my son's was in December and we had all gotten, all three of us got our boosters and his first one together in November. So I was getting some dates mixed up. So yeah, like November mid month was my last booster. And I just, with everything that's coming up here, I just had to get mine now. Now they are still having restrictions on if you're under 50. Like my mom got hers because she's in her 70s. But um, I had to, you know, say that I had special things going on to get mine. Um, And so, yeah, if you have any health issues, um, you know, it's they have plenty of them. And I also... This time I decided to mix them up. I got three Pfizer's before and I got a Moderna this time um, because I've heard mixing can be good and I also heard Moderna's just a little bit stronger. Again, um, and there's another um, thing I'm looking up, which is, no, I'm not going to remember the name of it. It's it's for um, people who are immunocompromised and I might put that as a name down below because not many people it's it's not available at pharmacies you have to go through your doctor and I asked my doctor and he hadn't heard of it yet 
So he's going to look into it and they have doses just sitting there and people aren't getting them. So, um, there is that. <laughs> I'm not going to put much here unless I grab one out of this. Let's see. It's going to be loud. I keep them all in plastic packs. Let's just pick green. Yeah. So that's why I get them ready beforehand because they're loud. They are loud like that. Um, so yeah, I guess I will put these on the side. And let's see, right after this, I'm going to probably edit, get this up and get my newsletter scheduled and then take a nap. Um, yeah, like yesterday, I woke up with a lot more energy because I had gotten some rest. Um, and the way my cycles were working out was like, this was my start of my upswing. And then I got my shot. So <laughs> uh, that just really slowed me down. And it's okay to say like, I'm not going to do things. I'm going to take my time. And also I'm going to write next to these um, later, not right now, but I think I just wanted to show up and say thank you for everyone who is, I saw quite a few <laughs> new people subscribing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I do, yeah, a combination of planning like this and tiny tidies and organizing and I have um, the tiny tidy that's going up on Tuesday I, I absolutely love and I think you guys will like it too it's about plants and so yeah I think um, you'll like that so this is me very low energy and wanted to just come on and just talk a little bit to reconnect and say that this is enough I am one to want to find like one more thing to do many times, many times. <laughs> I'll have my to-do list and when I get done with it, I'm like, yeah, but what else? And this is me practicing that it can be just this. And as you can see, it's about 23 minutes in here and this is about all I'm going to do because I'm going to focus on self-love and hydration and rest. So... Um, but it's interesting for me to, to kind of look back. I don't watch these again, but it's interesting for me to kind of see where I am and just, I had to get this done anyway, because, um, I need to kind of plan this next week and yeah, so that's it. I'm going to sign off. Thank you everyone. And I will see you next week with more energy this time. <laughs> Bye. Mm -hmm.